Hello, my name is Jason Miller, founder of AspenNow Solutions, and we're about to unlock the power of ServiceNow. I'd like to thank all 1,580 subscribers in over 65 countries globally. If you believe in transferring knowledge to those who need it most, please click subscribe right over here. I promise not to give your information, user data, um, anything that results from you clicking subscribe to any third party without your consent. Okay, so today what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to show you a solution of a request that came in from the old CIO um, where they wanted an impact field put on the configuration item table. And then whenever that configuration item is selected, um, the impact will change right here for our incident. So I'm going to show you how to set this up. And just keep in mind that configuration item on this form is a reference field, um, just like business service or problem. Um, assignment group assigned to so you can make this the same solution work um, with other reference fields too so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to cmdb underscore ci dot config we're going to find our dictionary entries and then you can click new I'm just showing you the one that I created here for brevity um, so that way I don't waste your time so when you click new um, it'll come up with a form kind of like this um, you can put in, and, and the reason why I like to do it from the config table and click new is because it's going to auto-populate the table. And um, I'm not sure if you noticed, but there are several tables that might contain CMDB or CI. Um, so it kind of saves us time from that perspective. Our type is choice, column label is CI impact, and then we'll see here our column name. The two things to take note of here are the column name and also the table, because we're going to need those later when we create our choices. So then you're gonna have these related lists pop up and you're gonna have to create the choices. Now you can do this individually and uh, cut and paste uh, from the task table uh, the same impacts that uh, incident has uh, coming down from the task table. Or you can do what I do, which is basically double or, or two finger click here or right click um, if you're on a PC and do open new window, which will bring you into a, a form that kind of looks like this or a list view. And now we're gonna see here that we have all of our elements at equal impact. This won't initially come up, but if you type in equals impact here, um, out of the box, these are the only three choices that task have, at least for the personal developer instances. So what I did was I opened up uh, this one right here, the first line item. And then what you can do is you can change the table name, which if you recall was cmdb underscore ci. And then also we'll change our element name, which is the U underscore CI underscore impact. Next, we're going to create a client script for the form. It's an on-change client script. And we can take a look at the, the, con uh, the construct of it. Again, I went to dot .config, which is incident.config, in order to do this. So let's take a look at uh, this client script here. So it's running on the incident table. Um, the UI type is desktop. Um, you could even change it to all if you want to. We have uh, on change is our, our option here, and our field name is configuration item. And we're making it active, and then it's global. If you want to do it for a specific view, uh, you can uncheck the box and then type in the view that you want to apply to. Now let's take a look at the script. Um, basically, right here, these three lines you really want to pay attention to, which I'll also cut and paste and put um, in the description of the video, so that way you can just cut and paste it yourself and modify it. So we have two variables that are created. Number one is CI, and basically it's saying get the reference um, from the form, uh, CMDB CI, and then we're creating the second one that says, okay, that's CI, we want to see on that table what the impact is, and then lastly, we're going to set the value the field name here is impact. This second impact is going to refer to refer to this variable right here. So just make sure you take note of all that. Before we get to uh, take a look and see how it works, just wanted to note that our sponsor, Third Republic, who by the way is the premium best-in-class solution for any of your ServiceNow personnel needs, um, whether you're a business um, or your talent that's maybe looking for a position, this is the person to contact right here, Bradley Potter. And we have a couple of recs that I wanted to show. Um, one is a uh, ServiceNow consultant for GRC and SecOps. It's in Europe, six to 12 months, rates negotiable. Um, you can talk to Brad about it. Um, and then we had, I believe there's another one here. 
Uh, let's do a window. There we go. Then we have the second one here. This is for ServiceNow HR Consultant. This one's in London, six to 12 months. Uh, the rate's negotiable. You can contact Brad, just send him a, a request on LinkedIn. Again, this is his, his profile right here. Um, and feel free to reference that you saw this on uh, Aspen Now. And now let's go to the, the little demo, I guess we would call it, for uh, to, to watch this impact get changed. Now I set the impact on the 3D pinball machine configuration item. So we'll take a look at that one. And we'll do 3D. There we go, pinball, and watch your impact change to high. So if we were to look at this record now, we could just make sure that it marries up um, with the one in the record. So we want to make sure that impact is the same one. And I'm not sure if I put it on the form, but uh, oh, yes, I did. Okay, so CI impact is high right here. So that's pretty much our solution. Uh, my name is Jason Miller, founder of AspenNow Solutions, and we've just unlocked the power of ServiceNow.